The Indian Territory was the land the government had set aside for the Plains Indians, west of the Mississippi River. They had been forcibly relocated there in 1830, after the Indian Removal Act. This territory was divided into sections for the different tribes, with a bit in the middle that wasn't allocated to any particular tribe. Even though this section in the middle was not open to white settlement, white people had been trying to move there since the start of the 1880s, and the US Army had to continuously move them off. 1893 the Oklahoma land rush. In 1887, the Dawes Act changed everything. The Dawes Act ended reservations for the Plains Indians. The land was divided up into 160 acre plots, and each Plains Indian family was given a plot. All the rest of the land was put up to the general public for sale. Many Plains Indians sold off their land as they did not wish to become farmers. Many of these who sold off their land were cheated into selling their lands off very cheaply by white land speculators. Things changed again in 1889, when the US government opened up the middle section of Indian Territory for white settlement. They sent in government surveyors to divide 2 million acres of land up into 160 acre sections. They then announced that at 12 noon on the 22nd of April 1889, the area would be open for claims. Thousands of hopeful settlers lined up, waiting on the boundary of the unopened territory. Once a signal was given, everyone rushed over the boundary to reach a section and claim it as their own. This was Oklahoma's first land rush. In total, there were seven land rushes in Oklahoma. The first was in 1889, 2 million acres, and the last in 1895, which was only 88,000 acres. The largest land rush, however, was in 1893. At 12 noon, this time on the 16th of September 1893, the boom of a cannon was the signal that unleashed Oklahoma's largest land rush. An estimated 100,000 people raced to grab the best plots from the 8 million acres which were opened up. 1893, the Oklahoma land rush. Well, thanks for watching. Also, I was talking to one of the history teachers at my school the other day about the fact I was making this video. He told me that a good way to think of the land rush was that it was like Black Friday, but with land instead of the contents of a shop. So you've got people running around to get the best land claim, rather than the cheapest 42 inch TV. He also told me that I had to use that in my video and credit him for it. See, I snuck it on at the end. Please do feel free to like and subscribe, it was a hint. And also if you'd like to check out some other videos, then I have plenty of them. That was also a hint.